Joining us today for Primetime Local News is Christina Rienzi, who is a critically acclaimed science fiction author and leadership coach, who is now a dual award winner. So thank you so much for taking the time to be able to speak with us. I'm so excited to be here. That made me sound really good. I don't know. <laughs> thank you. No, it's no problem. We're really happy to be able to have you on here. So you are the recipient of two awards at the Global Book Awards. Let's kind of start off with that. What exactly did you win for? Can you give us a little bit of details? Sure. Yeah, I was actually shocked. I, um, on a hunch just for myself, I thought, you know, I write fiction and nonfiction and something told me to submit one of each and each of my books won. So yeah, I won for Among Us, which is a sci-fi thriller. I won a um, silver award in um, the fiction category for science fiction fic a category. And then in the self-help and personal development category, I won a bronze award for my latest and um, first debut na uh, nonfiction, Five Happy Choices, which was actually, both of these were bestsellers on Amazon, but Five Happy Choices surprised me and was a number one new release in applied psychology, which was like shocking to me because I had never published nonfiction before. So that was very exciting for me. How was the reaction of finding out that you received these awards? Were you really expecting it or was it kind of like a huge shock to you? I was shocked. I was not expecting it. Um, I really just thought, hey, why not? You know, I, I tend to feel like, you know, a lot of times in life we hold ourselves back and we think we're not good enough or like it's not for us and somebody's better and they'll do, you know, they'll get the, they'll get the award or they'll get the accolade and I thought you know what so what's the worst that can happen nothing nothing's happening now so let me put it out there so yeah I was very surprised and I was very grateful and shocked and just thankful that you know they were nominated initially that they were accepted and that they were they won awards I thought that was just amazing to me I was surprised and so from what it sounds like you've been seeing some strong support from fans and readers so far for your novels Yes, absolutely. You know, I've been very lucky from the beginning with writing. I've worked really hard at it. I've gotten a lot of feedback. I've taken classes. I've done all the things you're supposed to do on paper. That doesn't mean success always, right? But I've been very lucky to have people that have supported me along the way. And um, I've now been published for, it'll be 10 years. Well, it's, it, right now it's eight years. So I've been published for eight years, but I've been writing uh, professionally for 12 years. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful. And I just, I made the switch from fiction to nonfiction and it was very scary. And I thought like, what's going to happen with this? Is this um, okay? <laughs> you know, you just don't know when you take a chance and a risk, right? So I'm just grateful that um, my nonfiction self-help book was also well received and Five Happy Choices has been doing really well and people have been sending me emails and telling me stories about how it's helped them. So that really warms my heart. And that's the reason I wrote it. So I'm just, I am very grateful. I just think it's a blessing that I'm able to share uh, one of my gifts with people. No, oh, that's really amazing to hear how strong that support is and you're seeing some great success on your path so far. So I mean, we're really happy for you too. And can you kind of expand on what Among Us and Five Happy Choices is about just for others out there that may not have heard of it? Sure. So they're completely different, but I like to say that my fiction and nonfiction are linked in many ways. But so Among Us is a government conspiracy thriller. It falls in the sci-fi category as well. And it's about an English professor. I live at the Jersey Shore, New Jersey. So she does too. Shocking. But I love to write about the Jersey Shore. So it's um, about an English professor who lives at the Jersey Shore. And by day, she's a conservative by the book professor. And at night, um, she's a controversial blogger of aliens. So she writes about aliens and government government conspiracies. And she ends up with a government, a um, classified government document in her lap that um, a secret agency wants back and is on the on after her. So it's kind of a cat and mouse chase. And it really is all about the truth. Do we want to know the truth? Um, what is the truth? Um, do we want to not know the truth? And it's just about her wanting to reveal the truth and the government not wanting to reveal the truth and what they go through to get to that, to come to some conclusion about that. So it was fun, very fast paced. So that's Among Us. And then completely different is Five Happy Choices, which is my nonfiction self-help book, which is really backed in scientific research. It's about proven methods, easy, simple things you can choose to feel happiness. And the more you choose these five choices, the happier life you will have. And I believe that it's, I studied happiness for over a year in a certificate of happiness studies program. I have a 
master's degree in psychology. I have my coaching certification. Now I'm in a doctoral program in psychology, health and wellness. So there's a lot of science behind these things. This isn't just um, decisions I came up with, but I thought, you know, I learned about the science. Now I want to give people simple things they can do. And I felt like it was important um, at this time to come out with something like this with everything going on with COVID and everything else in the world, just to kind of help people cope a little bit. That was important to me. Well, that's really amazing to hear, especially you using your knowledge on happiness and on the science kind of behind it. You're writing it and helping people out there that are able to read this, kind of get that advice on it. So I'm really happy to know that you're helping people out, not only just being a writer, but really helping people out as well in the real world. So it's really good to hear that you got a good journey ahead of you and you're getting some great success. So once again, Christina, thank you so much for giving us your time today. I'm happy we got to speak. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and I'm so grateful to be on your show.